We have with us Mr. Atul Chaturvedi, the Executive Chairman of Sri Renuka Sugars, as well as Mr. M. Prabhakar Rao, the President of Indian Sugar and Bioenergy Manufacturers Association. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Good to be speaking with you. If I can start with you, uh, Mr. Chaturvedi, what's your sense on this increase that has happened? Is that on expected lines or the street was expecting maybe a lower increase and it is higher than what you were working with? This time of the year, we were not expecting any <laughs> FRP increase. But we understand the scenario that with the farmer agitation and all, so the government wants to give the right signal to the UP farmers that the government is going to be taking care of their uh, income levels and uh, they need not be joining the uh, agitation. So I think uh, normal course, uh, these announcements actually happen sometime in uh, June, July or before the start of the next season. So, but having said that, I think as far as the industry is concerned, on a longer term basis, it's going to be uh, practically neutral. And in the short run, it can actually be positive, contrary to what the people in the, uh, all the commentators are thinking. My take is that the production, we were earlier estimating much lower, but now what we are seeing is the production is much higher and that is putting pressure on the domestic sugar values. So with this announcement, I think uh, the pressure on the domestic sugar prices should ease a bit. And the message is uh, loud and clear that uh, the farmers will be taken care of and this will actually help probably in increasing the acreage under uh, sugar. Because now if the, uh, it's going to be much better compared to the competing crops. And overall, I think uh, the government will necessarily have to increase the minimum selling price as well as uh, ethanol from cane juice and be heavy going forward. So I think overall, uh, in the long run, uh, it's going to be positive because the farmers will remain enthused and the Cane acreage should continue to remain reasonably strong. Yep. Uh, just to follow up that I have on this says that, you know, so sugar companies like yours yourself, you do you will you be passing on the impact of this cane price increase? And if yes, by when? Because this is going to be effective from 1st of October. So yes, by when will you be passing on the increase? And how much of the increase will you be passing on as well? So commenting on that as of today may not be the right thing because this FRP increase is also going to come in October. But my take is whatever is the FRP increase will necessarily get passed on to the uh, consumer and by way of either ethanol price increase and the minimum selling price increase. So I think the industry has been demanding that the uh, selling price, minimum selling price should be increased. And I'm sure with the proactive government, there's no reason why it, uh, this should not happen. And Mr. Yeah. Rai, if I can bring you into the conversation, uh, do you have a sense in terms of how the sugar prices are likely to move on account of this going forward? And what's your first view on this announcement? Actually, uh, I would like to comment uh, uh, three things on this. First, first comment is this FRP increase is positive because you know there are so many farmers uh, estimated to be about five crore farmers and their families dependent on the cane cultivation and uh, there is also a crop competitiveness so farmers switch crops depending on the price so in a way to retain the sugarcane farmers growing sugarcane which is important for the country and for the industry so this move i think is a good move what we are worried about is the consequential policy changes that need to happen. The MSP for sugar has not been changed for more than three, four years. So if we adjust the MSP of sugar, that is minimum selling price of sugar to this FRP, it should have been around 3,450 for the last year's uh, FRP, which we are paying now. For the next year, this is going to be 3,900 rupees a quintal. And this price is not very high price. Uh, when we compared with the prices of other essential commodities, Therefore, we, what we want is quick policy changes and building up of some buffer stock. The government should build up some buffer stock in sugar like it does in rice, wheat and other commodities so that they need not intervene in the policy. Rather, they can release the buffer stock when they see prices breaching certain levels. 
which they don't want to happen. So this way, a harmony between the farmer's interest and the consumer interest can be taken up by the government. So these are the two suggestions from us. Change the MSP of sugar along with FRP, build a buffer stock so that the government did not have to intervene in the policy, like what happened in December uh, 23. Right. Uh, Mr. Rao, just a quick question. You know, UP uh, SAP has also increased uh, just last month by uh, rupees 20 per quintal. So, um, does this pay a further way for a further increase that we could expect in the FRP as well um, around this because of this issue? As an industry body, we would like to have one FRP for the whole country. And uh, therefore, the state administered prices should go and FRP should remain as uh, uniform FRP for the whole country. And uh, the minimum recovery should be pegged at 10% rather than 10.25%. Sure. These are the views of the industry. Taken. So there should be unified FRP, but we also understand from reports that government may review the decision on ethanol source from cane and heavy molasses this week. What have you heard, Mr. Rao, on this? Decision, and we have been requesting for this decision to uh, make it faster. This is going to be late. They had this decision come Sometime in the beginning of February, it would have been very good. Mr. Rao, as well as Mr. Chaturvedi, thank you so much for making time and speaking with us. Um, a little less on time today, but would have loved to take the discussion forward. In fact, on that note, we are wrapping up the show.